Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the SEO Quake Google Chrome plugin. So let's go ahead and open up the web browser. And in Google search, I'm going to type in SEO Quake Google Chrome add-on. And I'm going to select this option here, SEO Quake Google Chrome, this one here. Not this one with the reviews, this one above here. So when I click on that, I'll click Add to Chrome. And I'll click Add Extension. And once you've done that, uh, you'll see this little icon pop up here, SEO Quake, um, this little icon here. And if I go to, let's say, for example, my website, so let's go to dcpweb.co.uk. So when I go to my website, SEO Quake will give you some statistics. It will tell you, like, you've got, you know, Facebook likes 2.4 uh, thousand, and it will just give you some basic analytics. But really what I use SEO Quake for is to analyze a web page. So you can analyze competitors, you can analyze your own site. So quite a lot of times I'm analyzing my own site to see what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, and looking at keyword density and so forth. So if we go ahead and click on the little plugin here, you'll see that there's some information that pops up and it's all relevant to this page that you're looking at. So it doesn't have to be your page, it can be another competitor, it can be, you could be doing some work for a client and you wanna just analyze a page. And you can go ahead, and what I find really useful is stuff like a diagnosis. So when you click on that, um, you can see sort of some information in here telling you about the structure of the page, whether you've got heading tags there, you, if you've got any sort of missing alt tags as well. Some of this stuff might flag up as errors, but not everything is really an error. Something, you know, like robot.txt, you don't really need to have robot.txt and you don't have to have a schema markup, but a lot of the things are ticked off here that have been done correctly. And that just helps you to understand what's going on, on your page. You can also use the density tool and the density tool is quite useful because it will tell you how many words you've got on the page. It will tell you how many two-word key phrases, three-word and four-word. So if I want to rank higher for something like, let's say, let's have a look at, um, let's scroll down here, it's quite a lot of words on here, right? So normally I'm looking for like three-word, uh, this is four, right? So I'm normally looking to rank for three-word key phrases. So let's say, for example, here you can see all the different key phrases for three words and you can have a look at them you can find out like london web designers right so that's something i want to rank high for and it's in the keyword uh it says here it's in the title t for title d for description k for keyword and it's also in the h1 tag and it's mentioned three times on the page right london web designers so if we were to take that copy and paste it into the browser and look do a google search on that let's go to google.co.uk and do a search then you can see I'm listed in the maps here and then I'm also listed here in the search results. So analyzing the page and looking at it quite carefully and see what's going on in your page, especially from a, an SEO perspective, um, it's really important. And you can see the SEO Quake tool also analyze all of the pages in the search results. Now sometimes that can get a little bit annoying because you're just doing your day-to-day -day job. You don't really want to see all this additional information. So you can go ahead and click up here and you can just click this little button here and that will turn it off and you can just continue doing your normal day job and then um, if you ever want to analyze anything so you can analyze competitors for example then you can go ahead and enable the plugin while you're doing your work so normally i use this plugin quite a lot when i'm building brand new websites so i'm actually this is this is my current website as you see it right now and i'm working on let's say my new website so this is the new website i'm building for my business that will be launching fairly soon. I'm still working on it. I'm getting things like a lot of video interaction in there. I'm filling out my portfolio. So as I'm doing this work, I'm analyzing, I'm using SEO Quake. I use some other tools as well, but when I'm just doing quick on-page checking for keyword density and stuff like this, then um, SEO Quake seems to do the job very, very quickly. It's efficient. You don't have to go to any other websites. Um, it's all there within the browser, which is what I really like. So we look at the diagnosis here and we look at density. You can see I've reduced the amount of words and um, just try to increase the density of the specific words. So you have to be really, really careful when you're doing SEO work and you know the way that you write information on your pages. So that's um, a really useful free tool. It's called SEO Quake. So go ahead and download and install that tool 
into your web browser and if you're planning on building a website project then you can use that tool to analyze your content as you're writing it you can also do that in word documents as well but normally i'll write things up in a word document move it over move the, the content over to the web page and then do a bit more on-site analysis that's what we call on-site analysis okay i hope you find that tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial mm -hmm.